this video we're going to look at how to create AutoCAD 3D solids from subsurface data. The surfaces have been created using the Holbase SI extension for AutoCAD Civil 3D or they could be created by the Autodesk Geotechnical module. So here we're going to go up to the location and in this particular drawing we've got you can see we've got all the geology created. I'm just going to at the moment just remove the all of the borehole information so all we have left on is the modeled surfaces just click it over to 2d mode and i'm just going to remove all the surfaces so basically what we're going to do is the uh, sandstone and gravel here we're going to make these into solids so all i'm going to do is go down now to the sandstone top which we have on screen at the moment and the process is pretty straightforward so there's our surface I've just selected it and we're going to go to extract objects click on triangles so we're just basically extracting the face triangles uh, to do this we obviously need to have the triangulation surface style used so with that done I'm just going to turn off now my uh, strata my subsurface layer surface I should say and with that done, in fact I'm selected, I don't need to select it just yet, I'm going to go over now and just flip my uh, menu over to the 3D modeling menu. So we're going to go in here now, I'm going to use the extrude command, select all of my triangle faces, click on mode now and by typing on mode, just remove that, I'm just going to tell it now that we're going to do it in solids, we want to create solid objects from this. And you can see it's trying to follow my mouse, but we're going to force it into direction because we want to extrude all these faces in the same direction. So the simple way of doing that is just typing a known point. So I'm just using 0, 0, 0. And we're going to take it to 0, 0, minus 100. So we're going to extrude it down 100 units. Could be any number of units, just to make sure it's larger than the maximum thickness for the substrata. So now we have a whole series of solid prisms, as you can see here. What we've got to do now is combine them all into one. We can do that by going to the solid ribbon area here and click on Union. So let's select the whole lot. Hit Return, and we should see now that if I just quickly select, you can see all of these objects are now just one, one solid object. So I'm just going to hide it now. And we're going to go through the same process again but this time on our base of sandstone so we're just going to come in here click on this surface and we just run through the same process again so click on it go to extract objects click on triangles and hit OK so we now got the triangle faces poured out back into the strata manager just to remove my surface Okay, we now go into our solids menu. Sorry, yep, the solids menu. In fact, sorry, should have been home menu here. Click on extrude again, pick all our objects. Mode will be the default as beforehand, so all we're going to do here is default direction again. 0, 0, 0 return and 0, 0, minus 100. Again we're going to go to solid and tell it to combine these using union. So we now have again one solid object. Let's bring back the other. So we've got there are two solid objects there, one based on the top surface and one based on the bottom. So we're going to use this subtract command now. We'll pick the top, we'll pick the bottom, hit enter and there we have. So we have our solid surface being created. Let me just flip this over to realistic mode now. So you can see there our AutoCAD solid based from our civil surfaces. So what we're going to do now is just carry on with the same process. We'll go through this very quickly now. So we're going to do it for our gravel. So let's bring on our gravel surface. Just hide our solid. So I'll just go back, isolate object, hide it. Flip it back over to 2D wireframe. 
So with the surface selected, so you should get the hang of this now quite quickly. So X, let's extract the triangles. Layer, turn the layer off, the surface off. Solid, sorry, home again, extrude. Direction. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, minus 100. Solid. Let's put a union on that. So we're getting there now. Let's just hide that. And repeat now for our gravel base. Turn the surface on. Extract triangles. Turn the surface off, go to home, go to extrude, select all our objects, D for direction, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, minus 100, solid, union, pick all our objects, or our and now we have our solid again, so one more subtraction, so let's just hide everything again, so show everything again. So you've got two different surfaces, let's just hide the uh, top solid first of all, there we go. So there's our two new ones, so use the subtract command again, subtract the top from the bottom, or the bottom from the top. And that's it done. So let's uh, just quickly, so we can see this, change the layer of these, I'm just throwing it onto a the gravel layer. Let's bring back the sandstone. So we'll put that onto the sandstone layer. Change the mode into realistic mode again. So now you can see our AutoCAD 3D solid objects. I'm going to use the section pane now to almost create a dynamic fence diagram. So if I move it through, you can see it's chopping through. Let's just quickly alter the setting here, not to hatch in the uh, intersection plane. So now as we move this around, you can see it's automatically chopping through. We can even add uh, a jog point in it. So actually making it very similar to a fence diagram. So there you can see, we just added that bit to it, rotate round, and you can see it's chopping through our AutoCAD 3D solid object. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions or ideas for new videos, please let me know by using the comment box below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for access to more training videos as we add them. For more information on how Kinetics can help you, please visit our website, email us or call. Thank you for watching.